Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another Scentsy video, and today I'm gonna to share all 25 of the new Bring Back My Bars. So I have them all in front of me, and most of them I've never smelled before. There's probably like maybe three that I've smelled before, and um, whoops. Sorry about that. My camera doesn't wanna to stay today, apparently. All right. Sorry about that. This is live TV, you guys. For me, at least. <laughs> so, yeah. This is um, all 25 of the scents I'm going to go over with you. I'm going to read the scent descriptions. Tell you what I get from them. Um, just all that jazz. There's 25 scents, like I said. All of these are voted in by you guys. Um, Scentsy consultants. Scentsy customers. Um... I don't think any of them, well, there's a couple that won that I did vote for a little bit, but not like hardcore voted for. Mandarin Moon was my favorite. I was trying to vote, vote that one in, and apparently nobody else was voting for that one this year. That one's my all-time favorite scent, so I'm determined for that one to come back because I need that one in my scent description, my Scentsy Club subscription, so that one never, ever goes away for me. <laughs> I need that scent forever. But yeah, anyways, enough rambling. We're going to go ahead and start sniffing these bars. And hopefully they're good because they sounded really good. <laughs> they sounded really good. I already know this first one I do not like. Um, this one is Apple S'mores. I feel like I'm the only one that does not like this scent. Um, besides some of my Scentsy friends. But everyone I hear on YouTube raves about this one. Like, it's their all-time favorite. And I don't even know why. Okay. It sounds like it'd be really good because I love apples and I love s'mores, but it's just, let me read the scent description to you. All right, we have harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, and a drop of coconut milk lend a tantalizing twist to classic toasted marshmallow, vanilla cream, and warm cedar wood. For one thing, that is way too much going on, for my nose at least. I think it's the coconut milk that throws me off. It's just way too much going on. And then it smells burnt. I guess that's the warm cedar wood. I don't know. If anybody wants this bar, hit me up. <laughs> I know I'm not keeping this. Mm -mm. I get the apples and I get the cinnamon. Um, I guess I get the marshmallow or whatever they're trying to go for. But it's just takes a really weird turn whenever you get that coconut milk and cedar wood. Like, it's just way too much going on. But, yeah. That's just... It smells kind of like musky... I don't know. It's gross. I don't know how else to explain it. I can just go ahead and tell you right now, I'm not warming this one. <laughs> I did not get this kit for this one. I can tell you that. But, I, I can... There are so many people that obsess over that smell. So, it may just be my sniffer. I don't know, because there is a ton of people that I hear that just love it, and they, they're putting it in their C Club subscription, whatever. More power to them. <laughs> Sorry if you're watching this and you love Apple S'mores. I, it's one of the top ones that I just absolutely cannot stand. So, that one, and what is the other one? Apple something, maple, I don't know. That one's really weird, too. But anyways, this one's one I'm really excited about. I have tried this one. It's banana nut bread. This one reminds me of banana pudding. Oh my gosh. It literally smells like banana pudding. And it is amazing. It's sweet and creamy. Um, let me read you the scent description for this one. If my computer will work. All right, so banana nut bread, right from the oven with ripe bananas, nuts, and spices. You just, you get it. You get the bananas, you get, you get a little bit of spice, but it really just smells like, like I would get like Nilla wafers and whipped cream. Like it smells more like banana pudding to me. But this one's amazing. That one's going to probably go on my um, Scentsy Club subscription because I could I could burn warm that all year long. 
All right, this one is one that I've tried before. It's just a little too much for me. So while I talk about it, I'm gonna go ahead and pull, pull it up on the computer. This one is called Beach. They had this in the Bring Back My Bar, not this past time, but the one before that. And the description would make it sound super good. So here we go. Papaya honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. You get all of that, but it's just like times a million. Like it is super strong. Like all of that on crack, basically. It is really strong. So if you like um, like tropical scents, you you might like this one. I like tropical scents, but not this strong. Um, this one, this one's a really like a powerhouse. I remember whenever I had it in my warmers before, and I had to like turn it off because it was just so strong that it was just overpowering anything. <laughs> like myself, I was like, I can't, I can't even think. I can't breathe. It's just too much. But yeah, it's it's good, but it's just a little too much for me. I might still use it though, um, like in our beach themed bathroom or something like that. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a little too much. But I know a lot of people love that one, hence the reason why it even um, was voted in. All right, so next we have blonde wood and moonflower. Never smelled this one before. This one's really nice. It smells like a like a sophisticated perfume. Okay, it says pale warm wood and amber enveloped demure moonflower, delicate white roses and upturned lilies in a modern magical fragrance. Definitely like a modern um, like perfume smell. I get the amber. It's like a warm, yeah, like a warm perfume. Like kind of like an evening perfume, I guess, is what I would really call it. Um, you get you get a floral note to it, so it's nice. It's not something I'd probably purchase myself, but obviously it's a good one if it was voted in, so we shall try it. Next we have Blue Raspberry Ice. I'm really excited about this one. Ooh, this smells really good. Oh my gosh. It kind of reminds me of Blue Grotto, but with like a lemon. I get like a little bit of lemon to it. Mmm. Okay, let's read the description. It says, remember racing to the neighborhood ice cream truck for those red, white, and blue ice pops. Oh, those are like the rock, rocket pops. This fragrance recreates those perfect childhood moments with a stack of sweet cherry, icy white lemon, and blue raspberry. Yep, I really get the blue raspberry and the lemon, but you do get a little bit of that cherry. And I'm glad it's just a little bit because I'm not a big cherry person. But it really does kind of remind me of those... Popsicle, so that'd be a really good summer smell with summer coming up. Alrighty, next we have, I'm super excited about this one. So I tried the car bar in the scent a few months ago whenever we had um, some kind of clearance sale going on. And it's Blueberry Rush. So excited. It was amazing. Like, I, want, I wish I would have bought more than just that one car bar. Ooh, this is like... This is like um, sweet plum pastry, but just blueberries. <laughs> that it just reminds me of sweet plum pastry. So this says a sweet surge of ripe blueberry leads a luscious bouquet of lively cranberry, black currant, and pomegranate. Oh, it's, this one's amazing. Mm, you really do get, um, you get that black currant, you get the blueberry. I'm kind of getting a little bit of the pomegranate. It's kind of more of like a tart um, smell. It's more tart than sweet. <sighs> That's really good. I get like a bakery note to it too. That's why I, I think I'm getting the sweet plum pastry vibes. But that one's really good. I'll probably add that one to my... Um, 
Scentsy Club subscription. I'm going to go ahead and start separating the ones that are like my all-time favorites. Out of, well, not all-time favorites, but like my top favorites. So I'll separate those for you guys. And then we'll go over those at the end so that if you guys are interested and um, want to try which ones I think are the best... All right, next one, if this computer will cooperate. We have Cashmere. This one says Sheer Floral Bouquet combines Moroccan Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, and Bergamot. This one's really good. Um, it's very girly. It's like a clean girly kind of smell. I guess it's that floral note that I'm getting. I don't really know what Lily of the Valley smells like. I'm thinking it's a floral. Correct me if I'm wrong. Not getting any bergamot. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of my grandmother, though. I think it smells like an old woman's perfume. Honestly, not really liking that one. I don't know. I liked it when I first smelled it, and then it's just like, once I kept smelling it, uh, it reminds me of an old grandma. <laughs> so did you did did any of these old grandmas vote for these scents? <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty smell, but it's just nothing nothing I would probably warm in my house. I don't know. This one I'm really excited about. I voted for this one quite a bit too. This is Central Park Pralines. This one says a decadent confection of rich roasted pecans, buttery caramel, and cinnamon sugar. Oh yeah, this smells really good. Oh, that one's so good. It kind of reminds me, it reminds me of something I've smelled. It reminds me kind of like a coffee. It kind of, I get a coffee note to it. You definitely get the caramel, but I'm getting a little bit of coffee. Oh, it reminds me of Caramel Vanilla Delight. That's what it is. Caramel Vanilla Delight, maybe with like hugging a mug and cinnamon or something. Yeah, I'm kind of getting hugging a mug vibes. Um, but definitely smells like Caramel Vanilla Delight with cinnamon and a little bit, I'm telling you, I get a coffee note to it. So, I don't know. That one's really nice though. So I'm excited to try that one. It's not like, some people were saying that it smells like the, whenever you walk by those cinnamon glazed almond, sugar almonds places, like at the mall or, you know, fairs and stuff. I'm not really getting that vibe. I don't know. Maybe once I warm it, I will. I hope I do because I love those um, cinnamon almonds. Every time I go to the Renaissance Festival, we get those. It's our favorite. Um, next, we have coconut cotton. I have tried this one in a car bar before, and it was really nice. Oh, yeah. This one smells so good. This one is going to be really good during the summer. It says, sun-warmed cotton, creamy coconut milk, bright citrus, and white sandalwood transport you to a cabana on a tropical beach. And it really does. Like, I feel like I'm just at the beach. Drinking out of a coconut. Oh, just relaxing. Warm weather. And, oh, it's just, this one's really good. I kind of want to put this in my, just, my Scentsy Club. I like that one a lot. That one's going in my pile for y'all. All right, next we have Dark Harbor. This one I've heard smells like a masculine smell, so we'll see. This is a romantic, exotic fragrance of kefir, lime, and blue-green mint with notes of watery ocean lavender and mysterious amber. It's kind of got a lot going on there. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, that's a sexy man right there. Oh, man, that smells good. Ooh. Oh, 
I don't know what it is. Is it the the watery ocean lavender? Oh, it's I get I'm getting that lime too. Ooh, this one's really good. This one smells like straight up men's perfume. Or like a sexy man, just mmm. Okay. That one's going on my pile. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. Okay. <laughs> Next we have Fields of Gold. This one is Golden Bergamot. Why do these all got bergamot in it? Golden Bergamot, reddest apple, and damask plum glow against rustic cashmere. Cashmere woods and exotic patchouli. Ooh, I don't like patchouli. Okay. There goes nothing. All right, who voted for this? Who are you? It literally smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> Y'all, this is so bad. Who voted for this? This is almost like beside apple s'mores bad. Oh, it's going to be hard getting rid of some of these bugs. <laughs> if you guys want some of these, let me know. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Um, yeah. Sorry, but not sorry. That one's not going to my Sipsy Club. Let's just keep it at that. Um... So far, I have a pretty big pile of ones I don't like, and I'm not really happy about that. <laughs> but I have found a bunch that I do like, so we'll see where we end up. All right, we're on to French Kiss. I'm really excited about this one. I've heard good stuff about it, so I'm crossing my fingers that I like it. It's French Kiss, and it's called, it's described as sweet fig, tenderly caressed by coconut pulp, exotic cedar, and caramel. All right, so purple wax. Oh yeah. Someone, was it you Lisa that said it reminds you of brown sugar and fig from Bath and Body Works? It reminds me of something from Bath and Body Works, so I guess that's it. This one's really good, y'all. Oh man. And I'm, well, I don't know. I was about to say I'm not a big caramel person, but I don't really smell caramel in this. Ooh, this one's really good, though. I'm putting that in my really light pile. <sighs> okay. Brown sugar and fig, or... Sorry, French Kiss. I'm getting myself confused. French Kiss is really good, so... Recommend that one. This one, next one, I have smelled before. Happy birthday. I've heard a bunch of people say it smelled like funfetti cake. So they describe it as a candy delicious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and warm vanilla extract. And it's a super fun pink color. This would be a really cute one to give as a gift for someone's birthday. I feel like I'll probably stock up on this one just to give us birthday gifts and stuff like that. But it really is a sweet like fluffy cake that like it's not cake batter it's like like actual baked cake to me Ugh, it smells so good it doesn't remind me of funfetti cake per se it just reminds me of just like a regular like yellow cake I don't know it smells really good though it does have one weird note in it that I'm not sure what it is that just kind of throws it off a little bit kind of smells kind of like it's got like okay like a yellow cake with like chocolate frosting is kind of what I would yeah that's kind of I'm getting like a little chocolate note to it so I'm not sure it's not one of my favorites I probably would just get it to give us you know birthday gifts just because it's really cute how it says happy birthday on it I don't know. It's not one of my favorites, but um, it's definitely in, like my like pile that I would recommend it. If you like bakery smells, you probably like it. Let's see. Next we have Jumpin' Jelly Bean. 
It's such a cute little name and it's a fun lime green color. This one says, crisp pear and apple, zesty lemon and sugar evoke sweet childhood memories. So I like all the notes in that description. Ooh, okay, this one's really good. Ooh, I love that pear smell. Straight off the bat, I get like a juicy, sweet pear. I get apple. I definitely get apple. I'm not sure about the lemon. Let me smell the bottom. No, but oh, that sounds so good. This is definitely like a fruity pear scent. And I have been dying for like a pear scent from um, Scentsy. We had honey pear cider. It wasn't as pear like as this. This is like a crisp pear apple scent. I really like that one. It's one of my favorites. Did not expect to like that one as much as I do, y'all. This next one is called My Home. And it is described as a new name for our favorite spicy cinnamon and floral scent. A must try. Doesn't really give you much to go with with that description. But anyways, a lot of people say it reminds them of Welcome Home. So we'll see about that. Okay. Actually. Actually, it reminds me more of winter berry apple tea with cinnamon because I don't think that one has cinnamon in it but this was really nice I like this one <sighs> this one's really good I mean it's not something I'd probably like stock up on or anything like that but I would warm this and I can't say that about a lot of these scents in this pile over here <laughs> anyways so yeah, my home's pretty good. Smells pretty good. Next we have red candy apple. This one's described as bursting with tart Macintosh apples, red raspberry jam, sweet red berries, and strawberry milk with notes of brown sugar, taffy, and cotton candy. Holy crap, I'm gonna get diabetes reading that. <laughs> that is a lot in that description. Ooh, but it's really good. Oh, yeah. Definitely sweet. It literally just smells like you're at a carnival or like a circus or something. Super sweet, though. Um, I'm getting that strawberry milk. I'm getting a lot of it, actually. I don't know if it's the strawberry milk or the raspberry jam. Or a little bit of both. Yeah, it's a little bit of both. So it's super sweet. I kind of wish they didn't have that strawberry milk note in it though. Because that's just a little weird to me. But yeah. Definitely smell like a sweet apple. Like sugary apple smell. So that one's really nice. It's red candy apple. And then we have. We have Rockin' Ruby Raz next. This one I hear a lot about. This one says birthday parties and punch bowls and presents piled high. This fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze is a child's best day, all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. So I think this one was in the kids line whenever it was um, part of the catalog. And they do have it still um, like we have a unicorn buddy clip that is scented with Rocky Ruben Raz. So it is still available in the Stella, the unicorn buddy clip. Ooh, okay, so I do get that juicy orange. I'm getting strawberry. Once I warmed it up, I really get a strong strawberry smell. That's really all there is to it. It's just like a fruity, sweet scent. It does kind of smell like punch. Like, that's that's kind of what I'm getting mostly from it. It just smells like a party punch. Yeah, so that one's good. Not something I'd go crazy about, but that one's really nice. It just smells like a tropical punch. 
This next one though, I'm super excited about. This one is Rum Raisin Cookie. I love my bakery smells, so. <laughs> it says freshly baked cookie dough, spiced with rum, raisin, and clove will transport you to the corner bakery. And yes, it will. Holy moly, that is good. I'm not getting a cookie dough smell, but it smells like freshly baked, freshly baked cinnamon oat milk cookies. Like you definitely get a cinnamon, but it's a bakery kind of cinnamon, kind of like a cozy kitchen. If you guys smelled that from the Hugo collection, it does smell a little bit like that, but it smells more of like freshly baked cookies. So that one's really good. I'm gonna have to add that to my favorites. All right, next we have Sea Salt Mist. This one's described as a gentle tide lapping against driftwood, a rustle of beach grass, a spray of ocean mist, and sea salt with bright, with bright mandarin and sultry amber. These descriptions are long, y'all. All right, so we got driftwood, beach grass, ocean mist, sea salt, mandarin, amber. Okay, that one's good. I do get the, um, like a spicy kind of mandarin with the beach smell. Like it definitely has like beach smell. I guess it's the ocean mist, yeah. Probably the, or the driftwood, I don't know. You know how beach smells usually have like um, similar notes in it. I get a little bit of that warm amber, so it's like a warm beach smell. Ooh, I really like that one. So yeah, sea salt mist is really good. I'm excited to put that one in our bathroom. Next we have Southern Evening. This one is described as like a trace of perfume lingering sweetly in her wake, this romantic twirl of French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk will prove an enchanting escape. Southern Evening. That's kind of interesting. It is musky. I feel like I smelled geranium before, but I'm not sure if this is what I'm smelling. I don't want to say I smell geranium, and I'm not, because I'm not 100% sure if that's what it is. But it's not the lavender. Cause I don't smell any lavender in it. I don't know. This one's not really. This one's not really my favorite. I wasn't really expecting it to be, but this one's just a little weird. I think it's cause it's got that musk in it, and I'm not a big like musk musky fan. I don't know. So I'm not a crazy big fan of that one. That one's Southern Evening. I'm sorry y'all for like the blatantly honesty that I'm giving you guys today, but I know if I was watching someone's Bring Back My Bar video and I've never, you know, purchased Scentsy before or smelled any of these scents before, I'd want someone to be honest with me, so I try to give as honest opinions as I can, and these are just opinions. I mean, you guys have your own opinions on these. Y'all may absolutely love Southern Evening, and I didn't like it. I mean, and... Maybe y'all didn't like Jumpin' Jelly Bean, but I'm obsessed with it now, so. That's just, just my thoughts. We all have different noses. So, yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm always honest with you guys. Um, and just legit. Because <laughs> I'm a real person. And I may sell Scentsy, but I really am not going to push sales on you guys just because if, even if I don't like a scent, I'm not going to push a sale on you. So, if I don't like it, I'm going to be honest with you. And if I love it, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> um, next we have, ooh, I'm excited about this one. Sticky Cinnamon Bun. It says, cinnamon and sweet icing with warm, nutty nuances. There's a lot of cinnamon scents in this pile. Mmm. Mm -mm. This one smells like like the red hot candies. If you guys are familiar with Scentsy's Cinnamon Bear 
fragrance that we had last year. I don't know if we have it. We might have it still this year. I don't know. It smells just like Red Hots. Way too much cinnamon. If you do not like cinnamon, you will not like this one. So, that's a little disappointing because I really was hoping for like a cinnamon, cinnamon bun smell. But actually, Cozy Kitchen, it is still available until January 10th. That one really does smell like a cinnamon bun. So if you guys are looking for a cinnamon bun smell, I feel like that one smells like cinnamon buns. And it kind of has a maple note to it, though. Just keep that in mind. I don't think it's in the description, though. But I get maple from that. <laughs> um, next, we have Thunderstorm. This one is one of the Scentsy Creator um, or CEOs. It's Heidi is her favorite, one of her favorites. It says, very refreshing, sharp, spicy, outdoor fragrance, like the breeze in a storm. Ooh, okay. That literally smells way too real. Like, it smells like you're walking through um, a garden in the rain. I get a lot of, like, florals. Kind of like, it's kind of got like a grass smell to it too. It literally just smells like you're outside in the rain. In the springtime. Like spring or summer. More spring than summer, but that one, that's, that's like super real smelling. It's kind of freaky how they got it to smell so real. <laughs> um, next we have, oh sorry, I'm getting tired. It's getting late today. Oh, next we have Vanilla Suede. This one is classic vanilla with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice. It's subtly, a subtly, I don't know how to say that, masculine fragrance. <laughs> Alright, so I love vanilla, I love amber, and I love sandalwood. And I like spices. I mean, I don't know what kind of spices we got going on here. So, here we go. This one's really good. Ooh. I get the amber. I get a little bit of that sandalwood. I'm not smelling, not really smelling vanilla and spices yet. I can see, I can see where they're saying it's like a masculine fragrance. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get it out of the clamshell so I can smell the bottom. Okay, I do get a little bit more vanilla. I kind of, okay, this is weird because it's not in the description, but I'm getting weathered leather vibes from this. A very, very, very slight, like, similarity to that. Even though it doesn't have any of the description in the description, or like those notes in the description. But, oh, sorry. It's almost 10 o'clock at night, and I've worked all day. I'm... But I just, I was too excited because I just got these on the door, door, um, step out there. So I wanted to make a video for y'all. But yeah, this one's pretty good. Um, not my favorite. Not something I'd repurchase, but I definitely will try that. So that is Vanilla Suede. We have two more, y'all. Two more. So the next one is Wild Watermelon. It's literally spelled like what a melon. <laughs> um, it's described as your little wild one will love this fun and fruity fragrance bursting with ripe watermelon, green apple, and scrumptious sugared pineapple. Oh yeah, this one smells like like a sweet watermelon candy. Like, you know those, what are those Sour Patch watermelon gummy things? That's what it smells like to me. Or like a watermelon um, trident gum or something like that. That one's so good. Oh my gosh. They should bring this and put it in the summer catalog. Like, this just smells like a juicy, yummy watermelon. Like a sweet, juicy watermelon. I'm not really getting, see green apples? I'm not really getting the green apples and pineapple. I'm really just getting like a super sweet, juicy watermelon. So that one is a favorite. I really am excited about that one for summertime. 
and let's see what more I can make it <laughs> I'm going to pass out as soon as this video is over um, next we have next and actually the last one is world traveler this one's described as blackberry dark pomegranate and oak bark inspire adventure Okay, this is interesting. It smells kind of masculine. I get that pomegranate. I'm getting a little bit of blackberry. It smells like just like um, like a man's perfume or man's cologne, whatever. But not the ones that I would really pick. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, I, I definitely want to try it. But it's just... It's kind of weird. I don't know. I'd have to try it to see what kind of notes really come out whenever you warm it. But, yeah. That one's not one of my favorites. Alright, so let's bring up my bar round. It was kind of a bummer. I feel like um, half of them I don't like, and that's kind of a bummer for me. But anyways, I found some that I really, really love. So here's my pile of loves. Oh, gosh. All right. So I brought through these really quick with you guys. So wild watermelon. Sea salt mist. Rum raisin cookie. Jumpin' Jelly Bean. Mmm. So good. French Kiss. Yes. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This one's gonna go in my bedroom. That's definitely a bedroom smell, y'all. Dark Harbor. Oh, sexy man. Dark Harbor. Mmm. -hmm. It's like a, like a sexy sailor man or something. Banana Nut Bread. Definitely going to my Scentsy Club. <sighs> banana pudding. I'm telling you, it's banana pudding. Blueberry Rush. Smells like sweet plum pastry. Tom, if you guys, if you like this one, you would like sweet plum pastry. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <coughs> um, and then coconut cotton. So that's all my favorites. Oh my gosh, it's so good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine out of twenty-five is not terrible. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is more that I don't like. And then so I have nine loves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six that I like, and then ten that I do not like. So I don't know. Um but I found some that are really, really, really good ones that I'm excited about. And yeah, so let me know down below which one's your favorites. I know this is a super long video. Hopefully I can upload this. And um, yeah, let me know which one's your favorites. Comment down below. Let me know if you tried any of these, what you think. If they're good performers. Give me some advice and tips and whatever down below if you've tried any of these. Because I've only tried banana nut bread. Like warmed it actually. All the other ones I've either used in a car bar or um, smelled before but didn't warm it. I'm talking to you, Apple S'mores. <laughs> but yeah, banana nut bread is one that I have worn before and it was amazing. So I can tell you that one is a really good performer. It smells like banana pudding, hands down. It's amazing. So yeah, love you guys. Let me, yeah, let me know. Um, which ones you've tried, which one you're excited about, which ones you want to sniff, whatever, let me know. Yep, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go to sleep now because words are starting to get really hard and my eyes are hard, like, not want to stay awake. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe down below if you want to see more Scentsy videos. And, yeah, thank you. Bye.